one of the things most people complain about in the new year not just the new year every time of the year is finances <music> Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I say welcome. And to my returning subscribers, welcome back. It's still the new year. It doesn't matter when you get to see this video, but I think it's still a safe time to say happy new year, right? It's few days into the new year and um, I'm sure by now the whole buzz about the new year is calm, right? So let's talk business. One thing I want you to do in this new year that I have done and I have been doing for about just a few years now and I would like for you to do is this. So one of the things most people complain about in the new year, not just the new year, every time of the year is finances. People think they don't have enough money and um, especially at the end of the year, people just wonder how all their finances went all through the year. But one thing I came to realize after speaking to one of the leaders in one of the groups I belong to. So I was sharing, I was sharing with him how one of my goals for the year was to save more and to give more. Right. Those were one of the goals of my year. So in the course of all that, he was just like, you know what? Go print out your bank statement for the whole year and see how your finances you know went and i did that and it was an eye-opening event for me i looked through you know from the beginning of the year to the end and i saw how much passed through my account guys this is something we all should do take note of how much passed through my account and i was like whoop the girl is not poor after all <laughs> We have some money in the bag. <laughs> All right. So I was like, okay, that made sense. So, and I jokingly said to him, like, with what I've seen now, it, it, it gives me more room to, okay. So I'm in, I'm Nigerian and we say, we use the word to build someone, like when you want to demand money from someone or when you ask money from someone that is maybe older than you or that has more than you, you know, based on their capability, right? So I said, man, with what I've seen in my account, I know how I'm going to build God for this coming year. Okay, so one thing that practice taught me to do is, first of all, it puts me in the place of gratitude. It helps me see how much, you know, God has provided for me. Hold on. If you don't know, I owe everything that I am to God. Yeah. So it puts me in a place of, you know, realizing how much God has provided for me. You know, sometimes we pray, we ask, and we are not even sure, you know, we don't even take hold on, we don't even take note of when, we you know, our provisions come. So it puts me in a place of, you know, gratitude, knowing that God has provided this much for me in the course of the year. And two, it puts me in a place of, you know, stewarding my finances more. Now I'm realizing that, okay, this is how much passed through my account. So what did I do with them? How was I able to manage them? How was I able to put them into good use, right? So that is what it does for me. So when I do that, I now know how to project better, you know, and plan better for the coming year. So that is what I did. And then I did it last year. I did it the year before I did it last year. And trust me, this year, like I said the other time, I'm going to build God more. But of course, I'm going to be more studious. I'm going to be a better steward of my finances. So I'm putting this out there to you. If you have not done that, you know what? Chill. Don't be in a hurry to go into the new year. Of course, it has started, but take our time. Print out your bank statement for the whole of 2023. Check how much passed through your account. How much you have left currently or at the close, like the closing balance. And then do with that information what you will. But I'm sure you'll be able to do more and um, plan better, you know, for the coming year. I want to see your comments in the comment section. Please let me know if you have done it, how far. If you plan to do it, please also write. And then when you eventually do it, come back and drop it in the comment section. I'll be there to catch up with each and every one of you. You know what, 2024, we are going hard. We are making the money. We are becoming more responsible. We are stewarding everything properly, including our finances, and we are becoming better people. So that's all for the video today. 
thank you for staying till this time if you've not subscribed to the channel please and please kindly smash the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up comment what are the things you want me to do anything 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 i'd like to read your comments and um i'll catch you in my next video bye